Welcome to the enchanting world of The Quiet Man, a timeless film that continues to resonate with audiences since its 1952 release. Directed by John Ford, this classic tale unfolds against the picturesque backdrop of the Irish countryside, weaving a narrative that seamlessly combines romance, humor, and drama. As you revisit this cinematic gem, you might find yourself pondering, is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's the iconic brawl between John Wayne and Victor McLaglin, or maybe it's the charming courtship between Wayne's Sean Thornton and Maureen O'Hara's Mary-Kate Danaher. Each frame seems to hold a memory waiting to be relived. Speaking of characters, out of the many roles in this film, which one was your favorite? Was it the strong and silent Sean Thornton, the fiery Mary-Kate Danaher, or someone else who stole the spotlight for you? The ensemble cast, coupled with John Ford's masterful direction, ensures a memorable viewing experience where every character contributes to the rich tapestry of the narrative. Now, as you reflect on your personal connection to The Quiet Man, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or experience related to this film. What is it about the story, characters, or even a particular scene that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's unravel some fascinating tidbits about The Quiet Man. Did you know that the film won two Academy Awards, including Best Director for John Ford? Or that the stunning Irish landscapes were captured in vibrant technicolor, adding to the visual allure of the movie? As you embark on this cinematic journey or revisit it once again, remember that The Quiet Man is not just a movie, it's an enduring piece of storytelling that transcends time. Share your thoughts, reminisce about your favorite moments, and let the magic of this classic film captivate you once more. The Quiet Man, directed by John Ford in 1952, is a classic romantic drama set against the picturesque backdrop of rural Ireland. The film follows Sean Thornton, an Irish-American, portrayed by John Wayne, who returns to his ancestral homeland to escape a troubled past. Upon his arrival, Thornton becomes enamored with the spirited and independent Mary-Kate Danner, played by Maureen O'Hara. The narrative unfolds against a charming, yet tumultuous, Irish village where customs, love, and a long-standing feud play significant roles. Ford's directorial prowess shines through, capturing both the breathtaking landscapes and the intense emotions of the characters. The chemistry between Wayne and O'Hara, coupled with the film's witty dialogue, and memorable supporting cast adds layers to the narrative. The Quiet Man's unique blend of romance, humor, and drama combined with its visual splendor has left an enduring impact on popular culture, earning it a place among the timeless classics in cinematic history. Its influence can be seen in subsequent romantic dramas and remains a testament to Ford's ability to craft compelling and visually stunning tales of love and heritage. The Quiet Man, a cinematic gem directed by John Ford, is more than just a classic love story set in rural Ireland. Behind the scenes, the movie faced financial challenges. With a budget of $1,750,000 considered substantial for a Republic Pictures production, Ford had to cut costs. Aiming to keep the production afloat, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara agreed to work for significantly less than their usual rates. Despite concerns from studio boss Herbert J. Yates, Wayne took a $100,000 deal, emphasizing the uncertainty surrounding the film's impact on his career. Fast forward to December 2013, The Quiet Man earned recognition beyond its era. The Library of Congress selected it for preservation in the National Film Registry, cementing its status as a cultural and historical treasure. This acknowledgement underscores the film's enduring significance and contribution to American cinema. Amidst the financial negotiations and accolades, there's a fascinating anecdote from a specific scene. During the moment when John Wayne discovers Maureen O'Hara in his cottage, nature added its own challenge. The wind fiercely whipped O'Hara's hair around her face, prompting John Ford to demand she open her eyes. O'Hara's retort, a witty defiance, reflected the spirited energy that permeates the film. The quiet man, with its blend of financial hurdles, critical acclaim, and on set anecdotes, stands as a testament to the artistry and resilience of its creators. It's not just a movie, it's a piece of cinematic history carefully preserved and cherished for generations to come. 
Cohen's Pub, a central location in The Quiet Man, was once a grocery store in Kong, County Mayo. Interestingly, it transformed into a souvenir shop and later became a real Irish pub, officially opened in 2008 by Tara McGowan, daughter of Jack McGowan, who portrayed Ignatius Feeney in the film. This pub, originally a backdrop for cinematic scenes, now stands as a tangible piece of the quiet man's legacy in the heart of Ireland. Beyond the picturesque landscapes and romantic drama, the film harbors an intriguing connection to the Ford family. The white-haired, frail character Dan Tobin, rising from his deathbed to witness a pivotal fight, is none other than John Ford's older brother, Francis Ford. A silent film actor and director in his own right, Francis played this role before passing away two years after the movie's production. His presence adds a personal touch to the film, making it not just a classic, but a familial tribute. However, even in its journey to the big screen, The Quiet Man faced interesting challenges. When the film debuted in Boston, Ma, Micheline Flynn's line about a broken bed, impetuous, Homeric, was subject to censorship. This small yet notable alteration speaks to the nuances of cultural reception during the film's initial release. In essence, The Quiet Man goes beyond its cinematic charm. From the transformation of a film set into a real Irish pub to the familial connection woven into the storyline, and the subtle censorship of lines in certain screenings, the movie's legacy is a tapestry of unique anecdotes and transformations, making it more than just a 1952 classic. It's a living piece of Irish cinematic history. Barry Fitzgerald and Arthur Shields, portraying key characters in The Quiet Man, shared more than just the screen. They were real-life brothers. Born Protestants in Dublin, Ireland, they brought a unique dynamic to their roles as Micheline Oge Flynn and Cyril Snuffy Playfair. This familial connection extended beyond The Quiet Man, as they previously collaborated in John Ford's The Long Voyage Home in 1940. The town of Con, County Mayo, served as the backdrop for much of the film's scenes. Interestingly, in 1951, as the cast and crew were there, Con was just getting electricity. Some scenes subtly capture the town's excitement and confusion, with utility poles visible but no wire sir reflection of the town's initial ambivalence towards the new utility. Adding to the ensemble, actors from Dublin's Abbey Players, where Maureen O'Hara and Barry Fitzgerald began their careers, were integral to the film. Notably, some had prior experience with Ford, having appeared in his earlier work, The Plough, and The Stars in 1936. These behind-the-scenes details offer a fascinating glimpse into the making of The Quiet Man. The familial bond between Fitzgerald and Shields, the evolving perspective on electricity and con and the collaboration with Abbey Players actors contribute to the rich tapestry of this 1952 cinematic gem. As the credits roll and the echoes of The Quiet Man's poignant tale fade into the recesses of your mind, take a moment to relish the nostalgia and unravel the tapestry of your own connection with this cinematic gem. The windswept landscapes and the profound human emotions it unfurls are more than celluloid. They are threads woven into the fabric of our collective memories. Perhaps you found solace in the quiet strength of Sean Fortin, or maybe you reveled in the spirited Mary-Kate Danaher challenging the status quo. The magic lies not just in the frames, but in the resonance it strikes with your own life's narrative. Did it spark a reminiscence of a quaint village you once visited, or did it stir the embers of a love story etched in your heart? As you ponder these reflections, consider sharing your musings with fellow enthusiasts. Let the digital corridors echo with your thoughts and veil the layers of connection that make the quiet man timeless. Your memories, like hidden treasures, add depth to the cinematic experience, creating a mosaic of perspectives that transcend time and space. Thank you for embarking on this introspective journey with us. Your time and thoughts are precious, and we're eager to hear the resonances of your personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. Until then, may your reflections be as vivid as the emerald landscapes that grace the screen.